I think now everything is in place. We know how to help Bob and Alice. We know how to exchange confidential data. For this, we'll use some encryption. We can use a symmetric encryption to encrypt the huge volume of data. But we need a shared secret. To get a shared secret, we will rely on a symmetric mechanism. Diffie-Hellman, RSA, SSC. About message integrity. Now we know how to check this, thanks to a hash function and some asymmetric or symmetric cryptography. The main known one is the signature mechanism in asymmetric way. And you remember, to generate a signature, you will use a private key. And you will use a public key to check the signatures. This is the main message I would like to re remind. The last point was uh, authentication. Here, we will rely on some challenge mechanism. And if there is a risk of impersonation, then we need the help of a certificate authority. I want to give you some comparison between algorithms. So for the symmetric one, we already discussed, iOS is considered as a successor of the triple less. It's faster and with lower memory footprint. But if in your system you already have some TDS, you have to use it. For the asymmetric algorithm, we will compare elliptic curve and RSC, and for the same level of security, SEC is faster in key generation and signature generation. That means when you are using the private key. SEC has smaller key size, really, really smaller. And for embedded system, it could be, I would say, a key point. Take care about the curve selection for the SEC. This should be done really carefully. Some curves are more adapted to one task regarding another. For the RSA, it's faster in signature verification, but it has really bigger key. Here just an array from NIST with guidelines, which show you, I will say, some corresponding key lengths. And you can see that the RSA one are really bigger than the SEC one. A recommended key length for most of the application. This is today. Obviously, it could change in the futures, but today, if you are applying this, you can consider it as fairly secure. So we've got a of 128 bits, a SHA of 256 bits, elliptic curves minimum with 256 bits, and a RSA modulus from 3,622 bits. This is just recommendation, and regardless of your system, it could change.